a lot of the artwork I do is works on paper and installation based work and I use printmaking and drawing and painting as a way to um, work on the surface and a lot of the imagery comes from where I'm originally from and I'm originally from Oklahoma, a place called Lawton Fort Sill and in that place there's a large military base um, called Fort Sill and it's the old, uh, one of the oldest military bases in the United States and in addition to that the Wichita Mountains which is the oldest mountains in the United States but also a wildlife refuge that has b um, bison, deer, elk and various types of animals and also I grew up on Comanche tribal lands my mother's side of the family is Kiowa Comanche and my father's side his tribe is German and Dutch from Michigan <laughs> and so I'm I kind of get this intercultural hybrid identity of looking at things from that perspective, but also looking at how growing up next to a U.S. military base on federal tribal lands has influenced me as a kid to adulthood and as I go back to visit all the time those places to visit family. This horse image here, and I have two horses on this piece, is in reference to that upbringing too. The Comanches are known as horse people. And, so they're known for, for using the horse. So I think about it as like the modern day car would be or in a sense of how the military is using like a tank. It's like, so it was a pre-tank. In this particular piece, you see buffalo shapes in here that are kind of abstracted. Then you see this owl shape that's happening in here too. There's various motifs that come about from stories that my grandmother would tell me and my grandfather. And in addition to that, when I was a little kid, how I learned how to draw was from beadwork. My grandmother was a bead artist and she would bead these beautiful um, pieces of beadwork that was regalia. And so I, I've been influenced by the beads and I've started to kind of use these dot-like shapes in here. You can see them in here as references to beads. But in addition to that, the bright colors are in reference to powwow regalia that are at American Indian dances and some of the wear that, uh, that's um, um, worn, the uh, regalia that's worn by the dancers and so the bright ribbon colors in addition to the brightness of blankets and sometimes you see blankets and then how they're passed down from generations and generations and my family has various types of blankets that have all these bright colors and so I started to kind of use that as another way of introducing um, line and color.